On my TikTok, I asked you guys to ask me questions that I could answer in a Q&A video. I saved a bunch of them, so I'm gonna get ready and answer these questions. First question is, how you and I met? Oh, well that's such a good question. So we actually met in dance. We met in dance, how old were we? I think we were 12? Yeah, like 11, 12. We met in a jazz class and we kind of just clicked and we ended up going to the same high school. And then that's like really like our freshman year, we're juniors, but our freshman year we really just kind of like got close. But funny story is my, <laughs> our dance teacher, I was kind of a little bit of a troublemaker. I mean, I wasn't a troublemaker, I just talked a lot. And our, our dance teacher, I was in the class before her, and she goes, she goes, oh yeah, don't be friends with Lisi. <laughs> she's Look a, at us now. I know, she goes, she's a troublemaker. And I was like, hmm. And anyway, now we're best friends. Okay, this next question is, do you have any siblings? Yes, I think you guys, I basically answered that in my last couple TikTok videos. I have an older brother and he just graduated high school and he's at Denver University. His name's Aiden. I'm a dog, you guys know Mackie. He's so cute. Um, my mom calls him my little brother, so. Do you ever get picked on by people for doing this? That's actually such a good question. I wouldn't necessarily say picked on. I mean, most people that like I meet or at my school, they think it's like cool and like they they say that they love my TikTok videos. There, there are some people that make comments that are like not necessarily nice. the nicest, but I don't necessarily say that I get hate. Like I don't get hate on my TikTok, which I am super grateful for because I've seen what it's done to other influencers. And I'm just super grateful for that. Not really. I feel like I have kind of like the skin for this because I, I've been making um, YouTube videos since I was like eight years old. Obviously, like my family and friends have like made like made, made fun of me, but I'm just kind of I just I know that I love what I do and this is what I want to do. So it's kind of chill, you know, tips on how to become an influencer. Bless you. This is I've gotten questions from other people that have asked me this and literally the number one thing I can tell you guys is consistency. First, you need to find your genre, find your people, something that you're passionate about. You need to have the motivation that this is actually something that you wanna do and then everything else will come behind that. The post, I would say at least three to four times a week and then you will eventually grow your audience. <laughs> this one's for you, Nog. Are you into reading? <laughs> No! I don't remember the last time I read a book, I'm not gonna lie. She likes to read, um, you did like reading certain books, like the- I, I would, so, okay, little emotional moment, cue sad music. At the age of like 10, I was diagnosed with dyslexia. <laughs> anyway, I have dyslexia and ADHD, which basically makes school and reading a lot harder for me. So I never really fell in love with reading like other people. I'm not a reader. I don't remember the last time I read a book. I am currently failing English, so... Jeez! <laughs> that answers the question. No, I do not like reading. She used to read, like, the, the... I used to read graphic novels and dork diaries, which I do still sometimes, so... When did you buy your first pair of fun socks? Whoa! This is... <laughs> this is a spicy question. I have always loved socks. I think that probably, like... Three or four years ago, I started to really get into sock collecting. Remember, I would always have like a bunch of fun socks for every holiday when I was little and I would always wear them to school. So I don't know, kind of my whole life, honestly. Do you have a school uniform? Um, unfortunately, yes. I, most people, they like their uniform because like they don't have to think about what to wear. But literally the thing that gives me motivation to like go to school and get out of the house is a cute outfit. Free dress weeks. I love free dress weeks. That's like literally everything to me. Okay, but I will say one thing. We don't have bad school uniforms. Uh, yes, I agree. We do have cute school uniforms, but like... They're better than other people. Yeah, but like I'd rather wear clothes. Yeah. Like that we have. And also dress code is so strict when we do have free dress. Mm -hmm. Like no leggings, no sweats, no pajama pants. It has to be jeans. They can't be like too they tight. They can't be ripped. They can't be ripped. Like... There's a lot, you can never wear shorts. Like it's it's this big old thing. Where do you live? Because the mountains are beautiful. Um, I live in Southern California. This is not necessarily the question, but I did I do wanna say I 
I, I've grown up in Southern California my entire life, but I do not want to live here. I want to, my dream is to move to Nashville when I graduate. She wants to go to Belmont. We want to like live in it. We want to live in an apartment together. Um, I want to be a full-time influencer. She wants to go to school for maybe a per per trish pd per per to either psychology, dance, or um, medicine. Yeah. Do you like Olivia Rodrigo? Um. Yes. Who doesn't? Honestly, like I, I, I love I love her new album. My favorite song is probably Grudge. The Grudge. That's probably my favorite. What's your favorite song? Either The Grudge or Making the Bed. Or oh. Vampire. I mean, I just love Vampire. It's so iconic. Or Bad Idea, right? Like, they're just all so good. Okay, but I'm also like, I also love Sour Album. Like, oh yeah, so Sour so Album. Oh. We are concert buddies, you guys know that. We've been to, okay, wait, let's list them off. We went to Wango Tango, which had like 15 different artists. Had, yeah, like, there was Lauren Cesar Smith, Tate McRae, um, Shawn Mendes, Charlie Pooh. There's a bunch of different ones. And then we also went to Louis Capaldi. Um, we went to Tate McRae. We went to the Lumineers. It was incredible. Yeah, love we love concerts. concerts. It's so incredible. Fun. And guess what? My mom, we just got tickets. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 we have no. been, we've been, we've been no fans even before. Before it was like before he was trending. Stick season, like like all that. Like, Northern we, Attitude and we, Stick season. Mm -hmm. We would listen to it, it. It was on our, it was on our playlist before we even like uh, our little rant. Okay, how long have you had Mackie? Um, he is. He's almost two years old. He is still our little baby. I we've never had a dog or a cat before this. I got him for Valentine's Day. It was a pair. It was it was a gift for my parents. I literally the way the way that they told me that I was getting Mackie is they said that they had a Valentine's gift for us and they started filming and I was like, what could this possibly be? And we opened it up and there was a picture frame of Mackie and I still have the frame. This is how they told us. Here's Mackie. Why did you cut your hair? Ooh, that's a fun one. I don't really know, honestly. I I was growing out my hair for a really long time. I wanted to change. I was just kind of like getting like sick of like my my look. I showed my hairdresser a picture. She kind of cut it shorter than I wanted, but I was very pleasantly surprised. By the way, I love my hairdresser. Honestly, I felt like it fit like my vibe and my personality like very I long. think it suits you more. I, I think so too, which I was like really surprised because I cut my hair when I was in like this short when I was in sixth grade. And I think my hair, I think my hair was like too thick back then. So what's the best energy drink? Ooh, oh wait, let me show you my energy drink of the day. I'm drinking, it's orange and mango prime. This one's really good, but I think that my all-time favorite is orange Celsius. My favorite. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. My favorite is the either like the berry Celsius or the Kimade by Lonnie. Oh, Kimade, that stuff. Who is your celebrity crush? <laughs> I have so many. So for literally like probably five years, my celebrity crush was Josh Richards. He was so cute. He, he was. is so cute. He is. That hair man gets me every time. I feel like you just have more in life crushes. Yeah, I feel like I. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, I'll be right there, Tess. Yeah, hey, you're acting like I don't. I know. <laughs> every single day I go, I say, Tess, I think I'm at the love of my life today. And I'm like, hmm, what do you do? Open a door for you? We love a bare minimum. No, he did <laughs> open the door for me, and I was like, I was like, I, there, she's like, Shivari isn't dead. <laughs> and, then, and then she was like, she's like, okay, like, what's his name? I was like, I don't know. What color ice is he? I don't know. What great? I, I don't know. How long have we been friends? Oh, wait, did we? We answered, like, how we met. Yeah. yeah, we've been friends. So I think I think we met when at the end of sixth grade. No, seventh grade. Seventh grade. Seventh grade. Ninth grade. Tenth grade. So five years. Who's your favorite singer? Um, this is easy. Tate McRae and Noah Khan. Yeah. Period. Easy. Easy. Or Lauren Spencer Smith. She's also incredible. No, like I rewatch videos from her concert daily. I know. She is my narcissist. Favorite. Fingers crossed. Flowers. <laughs> Sorry, that was really loud. Anywho, is Lisi your real name? No, actually, my real name is Annalise. I know, crazy. I've, I've always gone by Lisi. I think my brother mispronounced it when I was little. I don't think my older brother could pronounce it because he was two when I was little. So Lisi just kind of stuck. My nicknames are like Lisi, Lisi Bear, like Lise. Weezy. <laughs> Weezy. Weezy. Like I'm Twessy. Twessy, Bella. Wizzy, 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 Way Way. <laughs> One of our friends goes, drop the W's, and I'm not gonna lie, that kind of hurt my heart. It hurt my heart. It hurt my heart. 
What's your favorite skincare brand? Ooh, big questions. This is actually pretty easy. Bioma or Drunk Elephant, or period. Or to the people. Or you to the people. <laughs> what? Do you study for exams? No, I don't freaking study for exams. Who studies for exams? I know you do. I know you do. I'm a very hot. I can't. I have I have ADHD and I can't focus when I study, so I have to go to tutoring. I go to tutoring like four times a week. Anyway. When in doubt, juicy. Shh. When in doubt, Calvin out. How long have you been doing cross country? I kind of want to put this in my hair. Like, isn't Ooh, that cute? That's cute. Um, so we started this summer because I needed PE credits and we kind of, ooh, that's cute. We kind of like fell in love with it, honestly. Yeah, we're going for a run later today. Yeah. yeah. I would say about four months we've been actually consistently running. Like, but we've had to stop, like, like tests. Like, I stopped for the beginning of the school year because there was like an issue, but it's all solved. Now. Yeah. And then like, I hurt my back and it's like a bunch of different things, but we're back at it. Woo. Um, I think Practice I tomorrow. <laughs> we have a, we have a race next weekend. Wait, what? <laughs> anyway, that's my... Wait, can we end dancing to our song? Yeah. Quick OOTD, Garage Zar Kids. My OOTD is Brandy Zar Kids. We're gonna end this one off. Dancing! Yeah, my dance she a real bitch, got her own money. Let's get a taxi, fresh going. Get on, Taylor. Okay, bye guys. Bye, we love you. Mwah.